Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so when you get this blue screen of death, you usually get it randomly. When you're randomly using your computer, you'll be at the desktop doing something and then it'll crash to this and then you'll reboot and it'll go to the desktop and it might happen after an hour or a couple of minutes again. So, as we can see here, this is the error message that we need to uh, look into. So this is usually due to the video driver. So if we go to your desktop, if we left click on the start menu here, type in device and you should see the device manager control panel application here. Just left click on there. Now what we need to do is if you expand display drivers, I've actually just got um, a basic driver installed but if you just right click on there go to properties and then go to the driver tab so you'll see here so if you've got like an AMD it will say here AMD and then it will say the model number here it will have the driver version so you can see here I've got version 10.16 so what you need to do is you need to go to the manufacturer's website so if it was ATI go to ATI's website search for the latest driver for that um, uh, graphics card, uh, download it. So, hopefully, in my case, there'll be a version 11, a version 12, a version 13. Um, so, download that, install that driver, reboot your machine. That should fix the issue. If it doesn't, it could be because there's a corrupt file on your system. So, what you can do is if you open up File Explorer, go to this PC. On your C drive, if you just right click on it, go to properties, go to tools, go to error checking and click on check, click on scan drive. So now this is going to, um, it's going to scan the C drive, it's going to find any corrupt files that are on there, it's going to automatically fix them. So once this scan is finished, if you just then reboot. Okay, we can see here that the scan has finished, it hasn't found any errors, so close that down. If it does find errors, just close that screen down, reboot your system again. Uh, the last thing we can do is run Windows Update, so if we click on the Start menu, if you then click on the cog here, the Settings button, click on Update and Security. If you then click on Check for Updates, it's going to go to the Microsoft website, it's going to download the latest updates for your system and apply them. Um, to do that, it'll ask you to reboot your machine, uh, reboot your machine, come back into here and repeat the process again because sometimes it will take two, three times depending how far back you are with the updates uh, to install them. Okay, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment below. But thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.